Welcome to iLecture Online. In this video, we're going to do a brief overview of what we call the PT phase diagrams, and P stands for pressure, and T stands for temperature. Now, for most substances, the diagram looks like this. And notice there's some key things in there. There's some dividing lines, and they divide, divide when the substance is a solid, when it's a liquid, and when it's a gas. And then we have two particular points on the diagram called the triple point, and a critical point. The triple point is the point where the pressure and the temperature are just so that all three phases can coexist at the very same time. You can have solid, liquid, and gas at the very same time. That typically happens at very, very low pressures, like 1 1,000, the pressure of the atmosphere, or something like that. Notice we have some dashed lines on here that represent changes from either in the pressure or the temperature in such a way that we go from one phase to another. Notice that low enough pressures, if we start with a substance in solid state, it's a solid right here, and then the temperature increases, notice we go directly from the solid state to the gas state, that's called sublimation. So instead of the substance first turning into a liquid before it turns into a gas, it goes directly from the solid state to the gas state, and that happens at very low pressure. At pressures that are more typical, such as atmospheric pressure or a little bit above or below that, notice that if we start at the solid, in the solid state and we continue to increase the temperature, eventually it becomes a liquid and then eventually it becomes a gas. Now, if we start with the substance in a liquid state at a particular temperature and we continue to increase the pressure, eventually the substance can be turned into a solid state at that temperature just due to the pressure. We just simply press the liquid back into a solid state, and that is the case for most substances. The critical point is such that at a particular temperature and at a particular pressure, the, the gas has been compressed sufficiently so that there's no longer much of a difference between a gas and a liquid. It's hard to tell the difference. It's almost like the, that's the way the atmosphere is on Venus, for example. And so, in other words, as we increase the temperature, there really doesn't seem to be much of a change between liquid state and gas state because at very high temperature, very high pressures, a gas acts like a liquid. If we have the same diagram, but now for water, notice is one big difference. The line that goes from the triple point on up that divides the solid from the liquid state, instead of being slanted to the right, it is slanted to the left. Everything we said before is about the same. We still have the triple point at very low pressure, at a relatively low temperature where all three, can ex all three liquid, solid, and gas can exist at the same time. We still have the critical point over here, but notice now when we go from a solid state and we increase the pressure at a particular temperature, it will actually turn it into a liquid. So instead of a liquid being turned into a solid, in the case of water, if we have solid ice and we have enough pressure, the solid ice will then be turned back into a liquid. That's because, of course, ice expands when it, uh, water expands when it freezes, turns into ice, and so if we then compress it back, it will turn back into a liquid. So that's the big difference between the two. As long as you understand that, that means you know the basic concept of what we call the PT phase diagram, and that is how it's done.